SunPower Maxion, LG Neon R Prime. Which is the best high efficiency premium residential solar panel on the market? We're gonna be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. Now here on Solar Surge, we accomplish that using renewable energy, solar power, and battery backup, and in some cases, even generator backup as well. Now in today's video, we're gonna be doing a head-to-head -head comparison of the top two solar panels uh, for residential high efficiency panels for 2021, the SunPower Maxion and the LG Neon R Prime. Now, if you recall our previous video on the best solar panels for 2021, you'll remember that I actually uh, declared the SunPower Maxion to be the best solar panel out there in terms of total uh, power output, in terms of efficiency, there really wasn't anything that could touch it. Until recently, when LG just came out with its new line of Neon R Prime 66 cell high efficiency modules with power ratings up to 440 watts per panel. So we're gonna be doing a head-to-head -head comparison of these two solar panels today. We're gonna to be doing the evaluation on five categories, and those categories are power, cell efficiency, we're gonna be looking at the warranty, including the, the length of the warranty, but also what, what is the guaranteed power rating at the end of that lifetime. Of course, the, the cost of each product. And then what I like to call the X factor, and what the X factor is, is it's a way that we can award additional points to either product for features where there may not be a direct one-to-one -one comparison, but where it could have major impact for you as a system owner. So let's jump into the comparison. First, I'd like to give a little bit of overview on what type of solar panels we're looking at here. Um, both of the panels evaluated on this video are a 66 cell design. Now, traditional residential panels were a 60 cell design. If you looked at the panel itself, you could count 10 rows up and six columns across, and that was your 60 cell panel. And that form factor kind of became the standard for residential installation. Uh, it was large enough to offer good power output per panel, but not too large to where the, the installers would have a hard time getting it up and down the ladder, you know, when they're actually doing the installation. But this year, the, the 66 cell form factor has really come into fashion. And so you're seeing a lot of the top manufacturers like Silfab, Qcells, LG, and SunPower uh, now all offering a 66 cell panel layout. So that's what both of these two panels are using. Another thing I'd like to, to paint a contrast is, is that the SunPower Maxion is an AC module, meaning that it, it actually has an integrated microinverter in the solar panel. So you have AC power coming off of each module. You don't have to do any DC wiring on the roof. Uh, the LG panel, on the other hand, is a, is a traditional DC solar panel, meaning that you have you know, direct current DC voltage coming off the solar array, which you can then choose to connect to a microinverter, or maybe you want to use a central string inverter or a battery hybrid inverter. So you have a little bit more flexibility there. And that goes to the next point, which is the open architecture versus the closed architecture. Um, SunPower is more of a closed architecture system. If you purchase a SunPower system, generally you're gonna use SunPower panels, SunPower integrated inverters, the SunPower monitoring platform, and it's gonna be sort of one closed system. I believe they have their own battery now as well, the, the SunVault battery, which you, you may have seen our previous video um, announcing that product. So a sun power system is generally gonna be a sun power system end to end. Whereas with an open architecture system, you know, the LG panel, for example, you could choose to pair it with the solar edge uh, inverter, or an end phase micro inverters, or maybe even a Generac power cell uh, battery inverter. So with an with a open architecture DC solar panel, you have more flexibility with how you integrate it with the other system components. All right, let's take a look at the sun power Maxion panel first. In terms of power output, the SunPower Maxion has a, a DC power rating of up to 420 watts per panel. Now again, I say DC power rating because this is actually an AC integrated module, meaning that 
you actually can't access the DC power coming off of this solar panel because it's directly fed to the integrated microinverter on the back of the panel. So in terms of usable power or um, detectable power, the maximum is going to be 366 watts of usable AC energy coming out of the system. In terms of cell efficiency, the Maxion panel offers up to 22.3% cell efficiency. So when we talk about cell efficiency, we're talking about, you know, what percentage, if sunlight is exposed on the cell, what percentage of that sunlight is actually captured and converted to usable electricity versus just being reflected off or being lost as heat. So 22.3% efficiency, this is still one of the most efficient solar panels on the market. Very, very hard to match it. In terms of the warranty, SunPower guarantees a 92% rated power in year 25. So if you recall our previous video on comparing the best solar panels of the year, you'll recall that premium solar panels generally have a, a t higher tier warranty where you're going to have 90% plus guaranteed power at the end of the warranty life or in year 25. So at 92% in year 25, it's a very, very solid warranty here. In terms of the cost, SunPower is going to be the most expensive solution on the market. So if you're shopping premium solar panel options, you probably already know that. If you have a bid for a SunPower system, you already know that. That's generally going to be the highest bid that you have available. But what you do get is a higher efficiency, a higher warranty, and uh, just overall better performance than what you would get with a lower cost or a standard solar module. And then in, in terms of X-Factor, I'm going to give the SunPower module two additional X-Factor points and that they do offer sort of a nicely integrated end-to-end -end solution, including the panels, the inverters, and the monitoring platform. Although having that everything under one umbrella and that closed architecture can be a limiting factor, especially if you're looking to design uh, more of a custom system that includes battery storage and a generator. The sun power may not be the right choice for that because it's very difficult for it to interoperate with equipment from other brands. All right, now let's take a look at the LG. All right, now we're looking at the LG Neon R Prime. And as of this recording, these panels are available for delivery in up to 435 watts per panel. Uh, if you're comparing that with other panels in the 66 cell uh, form factor, that's pretty much the best that's going to be available out there for a residential panel. So um, much credit to LG for releasing such, such a high power output module. Which now in terms of cell efficiency, the LG Neon R actually comes in at 21.9% cell efficiency. And so you might say, wait a second, Joe, how is it that LG has a higher power output panel with a lower cell efficiency. And the reason is that the LG panel is physically larger than the SunPower panel, even though they're both 66 cells. If you look at the spec sheet here, you'll see that the LG Neon R panel is actually almost three inches taller than the uh, SunPower panel. And because those solar cells are a little bit larger, that's how they're able to get more power output out of the same 66 cell module. So be sure, especially you installers out there, be sure to check the spec sheet to make sure when you're laying out your roof, you're accounting for the extra three inches of height on the LG panel. Now in terms of warranty, LG has now surpassed SunPower in that they are now guaranteeing 92.5% of the original rated power out in year 25. So top, top tier warranty here. And in terms of X-Factor, I'm going to give the LG Neon R plus four X-Factor points, being that it is now a very price competitive product that is interoperable with just about any inverter or any battery system that's out there on the market. Also, LG is an established company that's been around for decades, so I, I really do have a high degree of confidence in their, their ability to back their warranty. SunPower, on the other hand, just went through a bankruptcy and so right now there's a number of SunPower customers out there that their warranty status is a little bit precarious. All right, now let's take a look at the final comparison here. The SunPower Maxion G5 has a power rating of 420 watts versus 435 watts for the LG panel. The SunPower panel offers 22.3% cell efficiency compared to only 21.9% cell efficiency for the LG panel. Again, that's because the LG panels are physically larger, the cells are physically larger.
The SunPower warranty offers 92% original rated power in year 25, compared to LG's 92.5% original rated power in year 25. The cost on the SunPower is really going to be the highest cost offering out there. Uh, if you're shopping for solar panel, if you've got multiple bids, typically your SunPower provider is going to be the highest bid out there. Um, LG, on the other hand, is a little bit higher priced than a standard panel, but generally you're only going to pay 20, 30, 40 cents a watt higher than you would with a traditional uh, solar panel. And then SunPower, I'm giving plus two X Factor points for the nice integrated design, having the, the microinverter built into the module, so it helps for speed of installation. But I'm going to give LG plus four X Factor points because of their interoperability, being able to use them with any different inverter battery system on the market, and also because LG, frankly, LG is just a financially stronger company where SunPower has just gone through a, uh, a restructuring. So if we total up the scores here, SunPower receives four out of five on power, five out of five on efficiency, as it does still have the best cell efficiency out there, four out of five on warranty, one out of five on cost, being that it is the highest price product out there on the market, and plus two X Factor points for the integrated microinverters, giving a total of 16 points. For the LG Neon R, I'm awarding five out of five for power, four out of five for efficiency, because again, the cells are not as efficient, they're just physically a little bit larger. Five out of five for warranty, offering that industry leading 92.5% power rating in year 25. Three out of five for cost, because it's pretty much middle of the road in terms of cost and then plus four X Factor points for your ability to use the product with you know, just about any other uh, solar components that are out there on the market. So folks, this has been a comparison of the SunPower versus the LG premium solar panels. Um, if you're interested in getting a specific price quote for your home on either of these options or any other options that are available, feel free to reach out to us on the link below. Um, the way it works is we basically just do a virtual web conference with you and we'll sit down with one of our consultants and just talk through exactly what your needs are and, and what you're looking to accomplish with solar power and then we provide a no obligation quote. It's just numbers, it's just a, a design basically, there's no obligation for you to do anything with it. Also, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos that we put out on the channel here, please be sure to click the like button. I know I say the like button all the time, but it is important because then that YouTube will know to show the video to more people. And also click the subscribe button so that as we put new videos out, YouTube will show that to you. Uh, it'll come up on your homepage or on your feed. Well, folks, I just want to say thank you again for taking the time to tune into Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.